There he is, Jared Kelnick doing his thing, swinging it, Adnan. Yeah, best coverage in the game right now. H, he's been great. RBI single, diving catch, helped lead the Mariners to a one nothing win on Sunday against Colorado. Mariners right now at eight and eight, but so much focus around Kelnick. Of course, was the centerpiece of Edwin Diaz trade. And when it comes to Kelnick, recently he's been terrific. 438, eight extra base hits, four home runs, a 14-38 OPS. Is it sustainable though? My man Harold has the answer. H. Yes, I think it's sustainable because you know what? Everybody struggles when you get to the big leagues a little bit, but it's more mental than physical, and that's what most players have to learn. So I want to take you through Jared Kelnick and seeing some mental adjustments. You don't usually get to show something what happens mentally, but I'm going to point it out to you because I've been there. So I'm talking to my main man, Alvin Davis, and he was like, Jared filled it, figured it out. One game this spring, Alvin called me and told me about it. They were playing the Cubs down in, in spring training in Arizona, and he saw one A-B, one pitch. Now, Kelnick's problem or struggle or challenge is like every young player. You get a bad call on you, and you let it affect your bat. Now, you're looking at the four home runs he's already hit this year. Kid's got light tower power. He's like Roy Hobbs, right? All right, but let me go back and show you what I'm talking about to make it a little clearer for you. All right, here he is early in the season. Last year, 2022, foul ball, strike one. I want you to watch his reaction on strike two. Boom. He said, bat's over already. It's already over. Oh, my gosh. Call a bad pitch on me again, and I'm done. And when you're struggling, it only takes one pitch to get in your head. And he didn't compete. This is not a competition at bat. He did not compete. Watch this at bat finish off for strike three. All right? And all you got to do is watch a guy's actions. And he's done. He's defeated that one pitch. He was over. The A-B is over. He's shaking his head. I'll never get out of this thing. So you go home in the winter, no carryover streaks, Adnan. And now, new season, he comes back, first pitch. See him take that ball? No big deal. All right, I want to show you the slow breaking ball that he's got a chance to see. Is it a strike? Yeah, but it doesn't put him away. It's not the pitch he wants. He's ready to hit. He's already thinking about the next pitch. And now he's going to battle. 0-2. Watch these at bats. Fight it off. I'm staying in there. I'm not giving up. He's made a mental adjustment. And this is the game I'm talking about in spring training. Ends up being an 0-2 home run. Why? Because he competed. He got rid of that one A-B that so often plagues us as a hitter. That one pitch, we're sitting there, and you get that strike, and you're like, oh, my gosh, let's go. And now you're done. You're in the hole. So mentally, he is so much mentally stronger. He's gone through some struggles. But I'm telling you, the kid is figuring it out, and he's going to be everything that is advertised to be because mentally he's there now catching up with that physical capability.